Hello everyone, happy new year. It's 2021 now, 2020 is over and we're done with it. And now it's a new year with new goals and new uh, fun and I don't know what. But yeah, I'm wishing you all a successful year in private life, but also in work life. And I hope you all stay healthy and yeah, enjoy it, have some fun. I hope it's gonna be a little bit better than 2020. And yeah, just let's make the best out of it. But I thought, because it's a new year, we could also start with a QA. I've asked you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram. And yeah, you've been pretty good. <laughs> I've got quite a lot, but um, I've picked the 15 questions which I think I've never answered before and which are pretty interesting and some more people asked. So um, yeah, I hope you liked the video and I hope that it will be interesting for you. Um, it's also going to be maybe a little bit information for my season 2021. Um, some news which I might share with you. So yeah, stay tuned. So yeah, let's start with the first question. Have you already been in Poland? So um, yes, I've been there actually during karting time. So I think 2010 and 11, I've been there um, once a year because we had the um, Easy Card European and World Championship there. And 2011, I've actually also won the European, uh, the Easy Card European Championship. So I've been European champion 2011, and it was in Poland at that time. So the karting race was happening there. So yes, I've been there. Um, then yeah, favorite helmet. I think so many people of you asked, and I think I've already answered that question sometime. But um, so I've actually counted so some days ago all my helmets. Without the ones I'm getting for season 2021, I have 18 helmets. Yeah, 18. That's quite a lot, <laughs> but I love them. I love every single one of them and they are all amazing. So I cannot really say what the favorite one is, but I think the most important for me is still the Macau crash helmet from 2018, just because it has some a special meaning for me. Um, but each helmet has its own story and its own carrier way so or, yeah so um cannot really say which one i love most but this one for sure is very special for me favorite classic car um so i've not driven that many classic cars to be honest um but uh the one i've driven was um the mercedes-benz 300sl gullwing which was two years ago yeah, 2019 for the Mille Million Italy for Mercedes-Benz, which is a great car. It's super cool. Um, the brakes are not that amazing. <laughs> I've had some some moments with the brakes. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful car. Um, it's really expensive, really rare, but um, really, really cool. So probably if I would have to choose, I would take the 300SL. Um, then do you design your own helmets or have a professional to do it? So when I was younger, I always just told the painters kind of what I wanted, but it was no details. It was just what colors I wanted. And um, yeah, and then they made a draft and then you kind of work with them. Um, but since two years, I'm really into it. I really love and enjoy designing my helmets. So um, yeah, I'm since since one year now, um, I'm doing it with Yota Designs, so a Spanish company, a Spanish painter designer, who are doing great helmets. So if you want to design your helmet and let them let it paint, then go to Yota Designs. Um, yeah, and I'm always kind of telling them what I want. And then they really make a really good draft. And then from there on, you go into details, what you want to change, what you think is looks better or worse. And um, yeah, I really enjoy it. I'm really into that phase, in that phase right now again for my helmets which I'm going to use in one championship. So um, yeah, stay tuned for the upcoming designs for this year. What is your opinion about electric cars? So I think nowadays you're not really able or you shouldn't really say no to anything. Um, so I'm pretty open to it, to be honest. I mean, I've been driving um, the DTM Scheffler car, the future of the DTM, um, which will probably happen in 2022, which has more than 1000 horsepower and that's just incredible. I think it doesn't really matter if it's um, petrol or electric, if it has more than 1000 horsepower and if it's an amazing car, you just want to have fun. And as long as it's good races and, and equal cars for anyone and um, a good sport, then it doesn't matter. So I'm really open for anything um, and I think it will we will see what the future will bring and where we 
will end up and with which cars. What was your best racing moment of 2020? Um, so, I mean, uh, to be honest, season 2020 was pretty um, different. Um, it was really, um, yeah, packed because of COVID and everything, but I was really lucky. I think complete motorsports and everything was happening. Um, of course, F3 is something very special um, to be racing on the same weekends, like F1 in the highest F3 championship with such a um, such an great and tough and difficult um, grid was, was special in its own, but of course, um, doing my first 24 hours of Le Mans was um, a career highlight. Um, I think it's it was a weekend or week which I will remember for a long time and which I'm I'm always going to look back because it was looking back now uh, such an amazing week with such great people and um, on an amazing cool track actually. Um, so probably no more. When is your merch available? So some months ago, I've posted some pictures of my maybe merch and you guys really liked it. And because um, COVID and the season, because the season was so packed and for so long and because of COVID, everything kind of got shifted a little bit more backwards. But I got some really good news. It's actually just getting produced. I'm really happy about it because we've spent so much work on it and it looks so cool, in my opinion. So it's going to come soon, it's going to come this year and also in the first half of the year. So yeah, stay tuned, more info about that soon. Um, but I'm loving it and I hope you will too, because it's amazing. Um, yeah, do you have any race day rituals? Um, race day rituals, yes, well, I always have to wash my hair in the morning. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> and, and then before every race I do my my usual stuff like putting my, red, uh, my right glove on first. I normally always have to get into the car from the right side. In LMP2 it's not possible, but in F3 it is. Um, then I always tell myself five words before a race starts. So yeah, some rituals, which I have since many years. Are you a fan of EHC Red Bull Munich? So that's the ice club, uh, the ice hockey club in Munich. And um, I'm not a real fan, let's say, because I'm not that much into ice hockey. But I've actually been there twice some years ago with my sister because she was really interested in it. And Red Bull gave us um, some, some cards. So it was really cool um, to watch. And it's a great sport, um, all happening really fast. But I'm not that good in ice skating. So yeah, <laughs> I skipped that one. <laughs> What's your favorite food? Um, sushi. Sushi since. A long time and it will probably always be. I love it and I could eat it every day. <laughs> Do you speak Bavarian? Well, a little bit. So um, I'm from Munich. I was born here. My parents are from Bavaria. Um, I understand it. Like if someone speaks it, I do understand it. But talking is difficult. Um, I can, yes, but I'm not really used to it. So I don't do it. <laughs> Favorite Netflix show? So, well, for sure, the F1 series Drive to Survive, which is great, and I'm really looking forward for the new season to come soon, I hope, I guess. Um, and then, apart from that, um, yeah, House des Geldes, Casa de Papel, I think it's called in Spanish. So, yeah, this one. Favorite pizza topping? I'm really into pizza salami and also pizza foggy. That's kind of the one, or Capricciosa, that's the pizzas I have sometimes. I hate Pizza Hawaii. I don't know who is eating Pizza Hawaii, but all of those people, I don't understand, because I really don't understand how you can eat pineapple on a pizza. <laughs> that's not my, <laughs> my flavor. <laughs> and then probably a question which was asked most, what are your plans about racing for 2021? So we have a new year coming up. And um, I've said it, I think, quite often, what I hope to do. And um, yeah, so for sure, my plan A or my, my, the thing I'm going to focus most on will be F3. I really hope to do F3 again this year, FIA F3. Um, we will see with which team. It's something very difficult, to be honest. Um, there are so many people with a lot of money um, around in the paddock that they of course, the really good teams, they take the ones with a lot of money. Um, I'm not the one having a lot of money, um, so 
yeah, I need to see, to be honest, there's nothing signed yet. We are talking to some teams and we will see what the best out of those options are, is. Um, if it's going to happen, I'm going to look forward to it. I'm really, really pushing. I hope it's going to be a good year um, with better results than last year. Um, but yeah, we'll see. As I said, it's difficult, so it's nothing signed yet. And I'm going to keep you posted on that one. And then, yeah, some of you probably know that the Russia Arena Racing program was or is planned for two years. So last year was the first year. This year is the second year. And um, yeah, I'm, it's actually the first time I'm telling it, but I'm really happy to announce that I will be doing or continuing my endurance program. And um, we are going to line up with Tatiana again, Baitska and me. So it's going to be three girls or three women. And last year we did ELMS and 24 hours of Le Mans as did in addition. And this year we're going to do WEC, so something bigger. Um, it's going to be the World Endurance Championship. We are going to go overseas. We are going to go to Sebring, to Chapa and to Fuji, to Bahrain, to Monza, Spa and Le Mans. And um, yeah, it's a great calendar. I really, really hope that all of those races are happening because already Sebring, which is mid-March, is not sure because it's in America. So um, we will know about that more soon. But yeah, I'm really happy to be doing the program on next to F3 again. Um, it's, it's great racing, a great car, great trucks. And um, I was enjoying it last year. And of course, to do 24 hours of Le Mans again will be great. So yeah, um, that was all with the questions. I really hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up. And if you have some more, write in the comments and we will answer them in the next Q&A again. So yeah, happy new year and see you next time again.